Welcome back to the Sometimes Builds. I was going to call this the dog days of summer here at Uncle Charlie's cabin, but it's a little um, damp and cool today. It's like this is fake fall here on the East Coast. So. We're here at Uncle Charlie's cabin. All the grass is basically dead, so it's not growing. So we don't have to do any cutting today. Everything is basically the same as the last time we were here. So we are going to tackle this garage bay and that garage bay today. Um, there's a lot of wood in there. Some will be for sale. Um, clear out all the wood. Clear out stuff over there, and hopefully get two garage bays for four wheelers and, and all of that. Oh yeah, join us. And it's a good uh, way to track what we get rid of and what we put where. Because I find myself going back to old videos and I'm like, where did I put that? Oh, there it is. So first things first, into the shed. And this is where all the wood's going to go. But we have to see what the state of this shed is. How many critters are in there. Wow, look at that skylight. I mean, this is what I ha had the guy fix. So did he just slap a shingle on top of it? <laughs> oh, and the bees are loving it up there. I mean, we get up there, we put a tarp on it. Some cinder blocks. And that'll be the next project. Or we just do that today. We have the wood. Problem is, it's this piece, that, and that. What the the uh, cross joist, or just those little pieces? No, it's the plywood. We've got to have the right wood here. Every wood, every potential wood is here. Wow, look at something's been eating that thing. Well, that Parker box up there. So slight change here. So you saw the hole in the roof, so we can't put wood in the shed. So the wood project is now on hold because now we got to do a roof repair, plywood replacement and all that. So instead we are going to work on clearing out the middle bay instead and get all of this stuff organized in either the barn or the shipping container or somewhere else. And that's the next project while we regroup and work on the shed the next episode probably because that will definitely be a priority build um, and then that will eventually be able to clear out all of the wood back here there, whoop, 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 to get your directions there it is all the wood back there it's, it's all wood like that it just needs to be organized and that'll be out and then we get two bays so first we're going to clean that let's do it big stuff over here so I won't rotate and this isn't being thrown away this is just being relocated to other places because they're for projects that haven't happened yet but we need the garage space so we're moving it out and putting it in storage to bring it back in.
So trying to get to the shipping container and there's that. <laughs> Just another twist in this adventure here. So our path is blocked by this tree and its many branches. Luckily, we have a tool for that. Send Sam to get the tractor. That tree that fell over is still alive. <laughs> Why well, it's a little scary to go camping down here. <laughs> I just gotta look to see what's around here. Pulling up at the shipping container. What will he do to get that trailer back here? Hear that diesel? Rah, rah, rah. Bump it.
until this happens. So let's recount what happened here. I'm in my truck, starting it up, getting it cold. Charlie's over by the uh, hose, rinsing something off, and he's like, that's some low pressure right there. And I'm like, good reminder, I need to use the restroom before we go. I'm walking in the bathroom, and it is a geyser coming out of the wall. So that's what he's cleaning up in this shot right here, where there's something wrong with the pipe. Come and kill it.